Thank you very much. With your permission, Honorable um, Principal Secretary, Honorable uh, Joel Arumonyang, allow me to invite our chair of the departmental committee on parliament, Honorable Johanna Ngeno, and I kindly ask us to perhaps clap. I know it's a cold morning, but uh, thank you. Um, um, thank you. Um, Buona Piers, Arumonyang, Chairs of various uh, departmental, I mean, various um, parastatals, CEOs, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, I must say that um, it's a pleasure for me this morning to be part of this uh, launch of uh, the building codes. And as a chair of uh, departmental committee on housing, urban development, and public works, I must say I'm also happy to be part of this particular occasion. This is a very special occasion on the build industry in our country. This is a very big moment for all of us, especially uh, those who are involved in the construction industry. For many years, um, our country has faced several challenges in the construction uh, uh, department. We have had constructions almost everywhere in the country, but we have never had a very special code on how to include all the facilities that are supposed to be included in our homes. Today, as we are going to launch these particular um, uh, codes, building codes, I'm equally uh, excited that the houses that we are building today in the country, across the country, are going to be, um, uh, have all the amenities that are supposed to, to be included. Most importantly, I would wish as a chair of the committee that oversights the construction in the country, and this one I've been uh, always urging the peers and especially the CEO to the NCA, that we must have strict rules on construction, especially when you look across the country and you realize that there's so many um, buildings which are not properly inspected, and maybe they are not given the much attention so that most of the buildings in the country are collapsing. We wanted to ensure, and uh, this is a, a, a wake-up call to all of us, to ensure that those who are in the construction industry must do their part. As, as a committee, we will do our part. We oversight, we will ensure that every building that comes up in the Republic must have met all the requisite um, uh, recommendations. The side of NCA must also ensure that all the buildings that are coming up in the country must meet all the recommendations. The engineers on site, the contractors, must also follow all the rules that, and, 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 and that are recommended so that we do not give Kenya poor quality of buildings. HG, the Excellency, the President, has introduced the affordable housing programs in the country. We're going to be doing over 250,000 houses in the country, across the country. If we do not have proper inspection, proper maintenance of those houses, we might have or we might face the same problem that Kenyans are facing currently. So we are calling upon the NCA and the public works in particular to ensure that we follow strictly the rules and, the, and that are supposed to be followed correctly to the letter. I'm happy that in the building codes today that we are launching today, we have included all the facilities that are supposed to be included in a, in a house so that we are there to the constitutional provision of Article 43, where every Kenyan have, must have access to affordable housing, which has electricity, proper sanitation, 
um, and also I've seen in your in your provision you have provision for gas, which is a very important amenity to the home users. You have provision for digital internet, which is also a very serious uh, pro um, uh, um, requirement for mostly because most of these houses are going to be occupied by especially university graduates and, 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 and college graduates who may need or who need um, the internet for either working at home or also for other use. I've also seen the inclusion of um, um, fire, extinguisher, sanitation, water, and, and, and electricity. This is very, very important because um, we must ensure that those people who are going to occupy those homes have all those facilities that are needed. It is our responsibility now as the committee to ensure that all that has been recommended to be included in these homes are actually provided for. My responsibility also as a chair of uh, the housing committee is to ensure that whatever uh, recommendations the, ministry, the State Department for Public Works requires, we ensure that we give them the proper facilitation in terms of budgetary allocation and of course also to facilitate any, um, any law that they might require to ensure that their work uh, is done or is, is done properly. Especially the issue of uh, the levies, which sometimes at some point had been suspended, that would have actually allowed the NCA to run its, its work properly. I will, of course, with my committee, see to the CEO NCA to ensure that we, if there is a recommendation to bring back uh, that levy on construction, then we will consider and ensure that we allow it to work so that they can collect the necessary or the requisite levy to run the department. Otherwise, I wouldn't want to say much. I just want to say that we are in full support of all the activities in the country, especially on construction. And um, in conjunction with the law, ensure that the work that is done in the country is done properly and, um, um, and follow the strict rules that are there. I thank you and thank you so much. Thank you.